Hi, YouTube. How are you? Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Once you subscribe, there's going to be a little bell and you could tap that and it'll give you preferences on how you want to be notified when I upload new videos. Today, I want to share with you Medicine Cards. So Medicine Cards is a book and also a set of 52 cards that relate to animals and creatures. Now, these animals and creatures are protecting us, they're guiding us, and they're showing us the way through life's joys and also tribulations. So today, I would love to pull a card, and I would love to see which animal is here and which animal is knocking at our door and trying to show us or tell us something. So first, I'm going to shuffle. Shuffle real good. Then I'm actually gonna mix them around a little bit because these cards are sensitive to the direction that you pull them. So we're gonna make sure we get a really solid mix and a shuffle here. Great. Wonderful, now I feel one more shuffle. Now, when I'm shuffling, whatever card calls my name and says, hey, it's me, that's the one. Okay. I feel it, okay, here's the card. Wow, the armadillo, okay. I know a little bit about the armadillo, but let's go ahead and read about the armadillo. And the armadillo was right side up. So that means we might be, we might be doing something right, right? Because if it was upside down, it would mean that there's a further lesson. Armadillo. All right. So there's a illustration and also a poem and armadillo every animal or creature comes with a word so the poem armadillo armor all my boundaries teach me my shields reflect all the hurt so i will not yield the word is boundaries okay armadillo wears its armor on its back its medicine a part of its body its boundaries are of safety are a part of its total being. Armadillo can roll into a ball and never be penetrated by enemies. What a gift it is to set your boundaries so that harmful words or intentions just roll off. Your lesson is in setting up what you are willing to experience. If you do not wish to experience feeling invaded, just call on armadillo medicine. A clue to how to proceed is to make a circle on a piece of paper and see it as a medicine shield. In the body of the shield, write all that you are desiring to have, do, or experience. Include all things that give you joy. This sets up boundaries that allow only these chosen experiences to be a part of your life. These boundaries become a shield that wards off the things which are undesirable to you. The shield reflects what you are and what your will is to others on an unconscious level. Unconscious level. Outside of the shield, you may put what you are willing to experience by invitation only. For example, a visit from a long lost relative or a criticism from friends or people needing handouts. If armadillo has waddled into the cards you chose, it is time to define your space. You may have been too willing to let your home become a bus station. You may find that you cannot say no, even when you know that you will have to cancel plans to be obliging. This routine can get old in a hurry. It may be time to ask yourself the following questions. 
Am I honoring the time I need for my personal enjoyment? Do others treat me like a doormat? Why do I always get upset when I'm taken for granted? Is there a reason for my being a yes person? All of the answers to these questions relate to setting up boundaries, what you will and won't do, what makes you feel uncomfortable, and what is comforting to you. How you react in any circumstances has to do with your ability to be objective. You cannot be objective if you cannot tell where the other person's personality stops and where yours begins. If you have no boundaries, you are like a sponge. It will seem as if all the feelings in a room full of people must be yours. Ask yourself if you are really feeling depressed or if this feeling actually belongs to the person you are talking to. Then allow Armadillo's armor to slice in between, giving you back your sense of self. Mmm. That feels really powerful. That's a good practice. Definitely, we all have the right to have our own boundaries. And it is definitely a lot like I teach, which is create your space, define your define your experiences. I'm so glad that I was able to pull this card that Armadillo came into our world today to teach us about boundaries. I know this is going to help a lot of people and I'm very excited about it. Thank you very, very much for joining me. I'm Corinne and I will see you really soon. I love you. Thank you. Mwah.